very good afternoon to all of you. Today I am here to deliver my lecture on the topic Human Digestive System or Human Alimentary Canal of Class 10th. So let us now begin. As you see this is a diagram of the Human Digestive System. So let us start labeling it. Uh, first of all you need to understand what is in human we know that the mode of nutrition is holozoic nutrition. So what does holozoic means? Holozoic nutrition means in taking of solid food in the body. Aapne kaisa food liya? Solid food liya? Ya complete food, whole food liya? And us food ko digest karna ya breaking it into simpler form. Aap food ko kis me todoge? Complex se, simpler form me todoge. Kis ki help se? With the help of chemical called as enzymes. We will study about enzymes in detail. And then the third is this digestion occurs in that this nutrition occurs in multiple step. Iski jo step hote hain, wo ek step mein na hoke, multiple step mein jo pura process hai, wo multiple steps mein hota hai. Like the first step is ingestion. Ingestion means taking of food inside the body. Aap food kaan se lete hain? Mouth se. So mouth is the ingesting organ. Second is digestion. Digestion means simple food. Conversion of your breakdown of complex food into the simpler one is called as digestion. Third is absorption. Absorption means in what in whatever part of body the food is digested it is absorbed by the cells uh, so that it can be transported to different part of the body so absorption is intaking of digested food or absorption of digested food and the fourth is assimilation assimilation in other language means transportation so if the food is digested in stomach Sorry, intestine, it is absorbed in the intestine and from intestine it is transported to all part of the body that is assimilation. And the last step is ejection. Ejection means removal of undigested food from the body. Whatever we eat, we digest the food and whatever is left that is undigested will be removed out from the body and this process is called as ejection. Remember, you shouldn't mismatch ejection with excretion. Now, coming to the human elementary canal, if I divide human elementary canal, it can, on the basis of organs and this function performing, it can be divided into two steps. In this, I tell you the organ involved in digestive system. Remember, it is an organ system, so it is a different organ involved. And in this portion, we will study about the glands which are involved in digestion. Glands mean those structures which releases some chemicals whenever it is required. So as we see that, we take the food from the mouth. Then this portion is called as pharynx. This is food pipe. This portion is called as stomach. This is the liver. This structure is called as gallbladder. This is called as pancreas. This portion the stomach ends here, from here the small intestine starts, so this she-shaped portion, this is called as duodenum. These highly coiled structure, which are smaller in shape or thinner in shape, these are called as small intestine and this structure, it is called as large intestine and finally this large intestine ends into the anus. So basically these are the organs which are involved in the digestive system or alimentary canal. Say for example if we take food 
the food enters to mouth from mouth it moves to pharynx then it moves to uh, food pipe that is esophagus after this this is food pipe food pipe is opening into stomach stomach se kaha gaya khana ye stomach hai stomach se khana gaya duodenum mein duodenum kiska hissa hai small intestine is duodenum se स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन के बाकी हिस्सों में गया यहां से डिओडिनम से खाना आया इंटेस्टाइन के अंदर जाके देन इट विल एंटर्स इनटू द लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन एंड फाइनली द अनडाइजेस्टेड फूड इज रिमूव्ड थ्रू द एनस सो दिस इज एन ओवरव्यू ऑफ द ऑर्गन्स इन्वॉल्व इन द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम नाउ कमिंग टू दिस टॉपिक नाउ इन दिस वी हैव टू डिस्कस द ग्लैंड्स व्हिच आर इन्वॉल्व इन द digestive system remember enzymes are biocatalyst they helps in increasing the rate of reaction means they helps in increasing the digestion of food without undergoing any change in themselves means the amount of enzyme it never reduces during digestion but it help in conversion of food from one form to another and that to in a very short interval of time bahut jaldi food ko digest kar deta hai ya food ko complex form se simple form mein convert karta hai so if i speak of the gland so in our mouth a gland is present which releases a liquid which we called as saliva i think everybody is aware of saliva so this saliva is released from the salivary gland this structure basically represents the salivary gland then the next gland is present in the stomach and this is called as gastric gland see This is the stomach. तो इस stomach की wall में जो gland present होती है जिसमें से chemical release होगा ये wall जो gland है ये क्या कहलाती है Gastric glands. Then the food enters duodenum. अगर आप देखेंगे ये liver का ये portion यहां से pancreas से जुड़ा होता है फिर दोनों pancreas और liver वाली जो tube है वो कहा खुलती है duodenum में मतलब liver और pancreas से कोई chemical release होता है जो कहा जाता है duodenum में so both liver and pancreas they also act as a gland what they secret we will discuss in later in detail then the food enters the small intestine so in a small intestine ab small intestine mein jo tubes hain in tubes ke andar ki wall mein bhi liquid secret hota hai and ye liquid secret hota hai jo intestine mein glands present hoti hain to inhe kaha jata hai intestinal glands so अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग ग्लैंड को एक ऐसा स्ट्रक्चर है सपोज करो ये एक सेल है अब इस सेल के अंदर एक डिप्रेशन जैसा बन जाता है घड्ढा जैसा और इस घड्ढे के अंदर केमिकल स्टोर हो जाते हैं तो जब भी केमिकल चाहिए होंगे इसमें से केमिकल रिलीज होगा तो सच स्ट्रक्चर आर कॉल्ड एज ग्लैंड इफ यू रिमेम्बर वी हैव स्टडीड इन एपिथीलियल टिश्यूज इन क्लास नाइन सो दिस इज अबाउट द ओवर ऑफ द elementary canal in the next video we will discuss about how the digestion occurs and in which part how which food is digested and with the help of which enzyme so that is all if you have any query do ask